Acrylic and oil paintings of video game characters to me often felt cheesy. Video games mostly are very colorful and visually loud, and the translation to paintings feels like less shiny versions of digital art. Therefore my vision was a traditional painting, something that you could really find in this world. And because I painted a lot, this was something I've always wanted to do. In honor of the upcoming Mage Seeker game, the goal of this project is to create two paintings of the Marsian characters, Garen and Lux. You can already see the painting of Garen, the might of the Marsia. Creating that, translating the comic he looks and showing more than just anger, but a complete human is always an intriguing task. Here he is clothed in something that is way more likely to be worn at court than on the battlefield, but him being a warrior is still a part of the painting. Why I did it, how I went through, and what I did with him is something that I will now repeat with Lux. League of Legends has a very specific style, but with stylization comes uniformity. With over 163 gems, we have reached the point where people have difficulties to distinguish paces. 2021 Arcane release and showed once again that it is possible to change this. On my channel I'm already redesigning champions, including their faces, and so this time I took it one step further. The paintings are inspired by the background of Diana Krongard's card in Legends of Runeterra, a good spot to place the siblings, who grew up in those walls. Garen is nobility, so you can find his family, crest or his chest, and I will replicate the process on Lux. I began with the conception. Similarly to Garen, we have Lux in the middle and in the background the Demarcine wall. What differentiates Lux from Garen is her magical ability. Lux's power is to channel light energy that allows her to burst even stone or shield her allies with protective barriers. The problem? Mages are persecuted in Demarcia, so Lux was forced to hide her powers for 20 years. Now I had to get reference pictures. I needed a young, friendly and cute looking blonde woman to create Lux's character. A lot of blonde women have Nordic features and this was something I wanted to avoid. The one actor who came to mind was Ella Fanning, whom I've seen in Maleficent and gave me great Lux vibes. Looking through all the Lux references, I think the most important feature are the shape of her head, that is a bit rounder, and her nose. Those features distinguish her from other girls. Also, Ella Fanning has the air of someone bubbly and happy. And this is exactly what we need for Lux. Armed with the references, I translated the idea on the canvas and started painting. How every artist starts is different. I personally like to color in the various shapes with a simple color that is not too intense. The brown underpainting so that the colors blend faster. While I paint, I want to talk a bit about Garen and Lux and the greater picture they are in. Garen and Lux represent the two aspects of the Mafia. Justice for Garen and compassion for Lux. Both share those values, but have each stronger focus on one of them. Their siblings are strong and determined, but different to Garen, Lux does not follow orders without questioning them. Demacia is the country that most often gets the stick by content creators. I understand the sentiment, but I want to dive deeper. Demacia in its whole is very diverse as a region of refugees. They came together from all over the world, and for good reason, the fear of magic. Fleeing in the apocalyptic war that killed millions. This is the history that informed the stories and reality of the country. And where fear is, there will be people that double down on it and abuse it to control people. This is what the Mage Seeker Order is doing. The Mage Seekers are an order that rounds up mages and banishes them from the mass. If they see them as too powerful, they rob them of their powers. The problem with magic, and this is something that just started to be explored in Arcane, is what do the normal people experience? What do you think would be your chances when facing some superhuman beings? The reality is that probably you would simply be a stain on the pavement. If you have watched The Boys episode 1, the character gets run through by a superhero. It also illustrates how power can corrupt, how unfair and hard it can feel to be faced with absolute power. Now my statement is not that Demacia is stainless or just in its laws, especially the Demacia upper class has been stuck inside political webs that got them fear more for their reputation than acknowledge the problems around them. 
Also, the Mage Seeker's power has grown, some of them even being part of the most influential families in Demacia. The country has to evolve, and it is the one country that can make life with mages safe. Through patricide, the magic absorbing resource created in the region, the Marcian can make a life where people are protected against magic and let mages live between them. The Marcia has magical potential unlike any other country, but the current situation went from bad to worse. The Marcian's early history left behind a legacy that encouraged harsh disciplinary actions. This eventually led to the Demarcian Rebellion, which is terrible. Both parties are hardened, there are dead on both sides, and even the king has died, even though both parties don't know the real reason how this happened. Still, this rebellion, with Lux being a potential bridge between the parties, is hopefully a way to bring back what Demacia was supposed to be, a safe haven. The message of most League of Legends conflicts is do not ignore suffering until it becomes too much and you can't talk anymore. And don't tribalize, find common ground before it's too late. It's easy to hate, but it's better to find solutions and compromise. And this is why I love Leek's stories. You have seen me paint the face during the last minutes. And now we are moving over to the hair. Painting hair in oil, that has been a challenge to me for some time. But doing a lot of digital art lately really helped elevate it. You basically build different shapes and add on it darks and lights. Stylizing hair is something that really helps to sell the volume when you think of it as a bunch. If you divide them later, it makes your life a lot easier. Next up is Lux's cloak. Similar to Garen, I gave her a new fit, something that integrates a few more details and breaks a bit with the overall color scheme. Violet in Demacia is actually worn by Morgana an ancient mage that is known for her compassion to the people as well as her spite towards those without giving second chances. Perfect fit for Lux. And it will later add to the general color palette that will look like different colored light that is broken into slightly different tones. Now we're doing the background. Most of the face is already done and I only need to add some more details to the hair, the neck and some minor things. Now the important thing is to create some art for Lux that brings the theme of light home. In Garen's painting I made him stand in front of rays of light, as if the light shines upon him. Lux, on the other hand, should be the source of the light. Here you can see me painting the color that, as promised, has the crown god symbol, the family crest attached to it. As I painted the background, I make sure to stay in the same gold color as Lux's hair. This is a bit dangerous, as you risk to make the image flat. But if done well, it will definitely make her shine. As we start the background, you can see me paint in some dark clouds. These will work like a vignette and draw attention to the center of the image. And now, look at this perfection. And this concludes our painting for Lux and Garen, my interpretation of two of the oldest champions of League that are still deeply involved in his story going forward. I'd love to know who you would like to see in a similar video. Now I will continue with a few more Demacia reworks and nice ideas I have until I will depart the region and move over to the next. This was Artis, and I'll see you in the next one.